Ah, you're in the center of my will, saith thy God. Listen, guys, to catch the blessing, to catch the impartation, to catch the double portion, you've got to be in the will of the Lord. If you're out of the will of Lord, or the will of the Lord, you won't be able to contain or sustain it. Let me say it like this. If you want the new wine, you have got to have the new wine skin. You're not going to get the new wine till you have the new wine skin. The Lord's not going to pour in the new wine because it'll abort and fizzle and leak out. It won't be able to sustain and contain the very thing it was purposed for. Now, very quickly, let me tell you this testimony. Just share with you quickly how the prophetic works, the ministry of the prophetic, the prophet's ministry to a certain degree. Last Monday, I was on the live stream on YouTube, and I just instinctively said, where's everyone from in the chat? And United Kingdom, Hong Kong, Mexico, all over. Someone put Middle Island, New York. Now, that's about a half an hour from me, 25 minutes. Middle Island is the middle of Long Island. Long Island is a Long Island. You've got Montauk, Long Island, and Manhattan, New York City. Middle Island's right in the middle. When someone in the chat said, Middle Island, I came under an unction, and I said, the Lord's going to hit and visit the middle of the island. Middle Island is now in the bullseye, or the target of the Lord, the bullseye, is the center of the dartboard or the center of our target. If anybody goes target practicing, you know, in the middle of the target, there is a bullseye. And I began prophesying over different regions, and I came under an unction from Middle Island. I said, the Lord's going to visit the middle of this island. It's positioned in the bullseye, in the center of my will, the center of my plan, my purpose, my destiny, my inheritance, etc., that Wednesday, I decided to visit one of the many great local churches on Long Island that was in Middle Island. It's a powerful church. I've maybe been there twice in my life in 20-something years, you understand? When I went back in the church, the pastor mentioned the word bullseye several times. He used the word, when he mentioned that word bullseye, guys... I'm going to be honest, I almost got out of my seat and started running around the church. It would have freaked people out if I started. I couldn't believe my, when he said the word bullseye, now it was in a different context. But the point I'm trying to make is, what's the chances of me coming under an unction where I say, I, I start prophesying, decreeing, declaring the Lord's going to visit a certain part of a region. It's in the bullseye, the center of the target, the middle of it. I visit that church several, and the, the pastor uses the So that's how the prophetic works. It's always confirmed by the mouth of two or three witnesses. Let every matter be established. And that church, I believe, is poised and positioned for a move of God to sustain and contain the new thing, the new wine, because it has a new wineskin. Hallelujah. Now... If you're new, it would be an honor. Please subscribe. Also, I'm live Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern, YouTube live, Thursdays, 8 p.m. Zoom. I will pin the ID and the passcode in the Zoom. Uh, and if you want to be in the bullseye of the Lord, you want the Lord to shoot his arrow or dart. <laughs> Now, the enemy has darts. That's why it says, take up the shield of faith that extinguishes every fiery dart of the wicked one. But there's also an arrow that we want the Lord to shoot in the bullseye. In 2 Kings chapter 13, verse 15, Elisha said, take a bow and some arrows. So he took himself a bow, some arrows. Then he said to the king of Israel, put your hand on the bow. So he put his hands on it. Elisha put his hands on the king's hand. He said, open the window. He opened the window. Elisha said, shoot. And he shot the arrow of the Lord's deliverance. And the arrow of deliverance from, a, from Syria. You must strike the Assyrians in Aphek till you have destroyed them. Now, later on, it says, if you want total deliverance, you've got to strike the arrow the right amount of times. You have to fulfill and become the strategy that the Lord desires. The Lord told 
someone to dip seven times in the Jordan. The Lord would give different strategies to Gideon, different patriarchs in the Bible, David to wrought about a great victory. But you got to follow the strategy and the plan. But I'm prophesying, decreeing, someone out there is the bullseye. You're the center of the target. The Lord's about to hit you with his will. His plan is purpose. Jeremiah 29, 11. God has a plan for you. Plans for a hope, a future expected end. My God, you are the bullseye of the Lord. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.